Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I know it takes sacrifice on a Sunday afternoon to come to John and Janet's to a political event, so I really <laughs> appreciate that. We all live roughly the same life, a life of sacrifice, with our home life, our family life, our work life, and my life is much the same as yours in that regard. I've got three little girls, age four and under, back home, Ellie, Molly, and Emma Kate, and uh, it's a busy household. Uh, last year, we, at the end of the year, I decided to do the math on how many diapers that my wife and I had changed uh, during calendar year 2008 with the babies. And doing the math, we changed 3,000 diapers last year. So, <laughs> amongst everything else, um, it's been a busy household. And I love babies. And when I'm changing that diaper, more often than not, right now, I'm thinking to myself that that baby is a perfect analogy for our Illinois government. Those babies in my house eat a lot, and our government consumes a lot. And both my children and our government, the output never looks pretty. <laughs> so I aim to do something about that here in Illinois. Uh, thank you so much for coming. We gather here today with great purpose. And I don't have to convince any of you that Illinois is a mess. Now, if there's somebody in the room that, that I may have to convince, I'm going to run you through just a few quick statistics. We're number one out of the 50 states in our children committing violent crime. We're number two in the country in state debt. We're number three in the country in gambling revenues. In our headlines, it's all about corruption and unethical behavior of our public servants. We're the laughing stock of America. One third of our eighth graders are proficient in reading, and over the last 15 years, the highest we rank on job growth is 44th, and last year we beat two states. So we're upside down. We've got two parties here in Illinois, the Democrats and the Republicans. And both parties have had their own problems with leadership and corruptions. As an Illinois Republican, it's my opinion that we need new voices, fresh faces, and new blood in our party. And that's why here today, I am here to announce my intention. I am running for office, and I am running for governor in Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, uh, 30 years ago, uh, my father obviously ran against one of the most politically powerful and most corrupt politicians in Illinois state history. My father ran a campaign against George Ryan in 1976 and 1978, and his candidacy was a challenge to the people of Kankakee County, to see if the people of Kankakee County were ready for reform. And obviously, 30 years ago, they weren't. My candidacy is a challenge to the Illinois people. Are you ready for reform? Now, I believe you are. And I believe this because I've lived it over the past year and a half. As I've traveled the state, I've met many people of goodwill, people like Kathy Tanner. We operated by a simple philosophy last year, that public spending should be done publicly. It should not be cloaked in privacy. I trained local people to ask their local units of government to post their spending on their websites. So volunteers like Kathy Tanner asked their local school districts. Kathy Tanner got uh, Bradley Bourbonnet High School to post their check register. And after she was done with that, Kankakee Community College posted their check register because Kathy asked. And Kathy is part and parcel to, of the volunteers here that I've had the opportunity to work with all across the state. And we had a lot of success. Last year we posted over $1 billion of government money on government websites. And a, <laughs> and a billion dollars is a lot of money. There's a famous politician that put it in terms that all of us can understand. He said, if you gave your wife a billion dollars to go shopping, and you said, honey, be very frugal with that. Just spend a thousand dollars a day. Well, she would be gone for the next 3,000 years. <laughs> so it's a lot of money. It's a lot of success. 
I worked with Auditor Bob Brogan at the County of DuPage. And DuPage County became the first county out of 102 counties here in Illinois to show their taxpayers where they spend their money. Brogan posted the check registry. And when he did on the editorial page of the Daily Herald, they said that that action would have made Thomas Jefferson and James Madison proud. Well, I'm of the opinion that we need more Kathy Tanner's James Madison's and Thomas Jefferson's here in Illinois. To that end, my campaign slogan is every dime online in real time. <laughs> that will give simple respect to the hardworking citizen by showing us exactly where the money at all levels of government is spent. So what's my plan to end corruption in Illinois? every dime online in real time. See, it's hard to steal or to have wasteful, fraudulent spending if all the checks of all of government is up on a website. And that empowers people like us to become the auditors on the spending. And the 13 million residents here in Illinois can then review the books. So what's my plan to balance the budget here in Illinois? Every dime online in real time. We can't fix the problems of Illinois until we can see what the problems are. Now, all of you should know, and probably do know, that Springfield has an income tax increase ready for you. I'm asking Governor Quinn not to raise taxes. If he shows us the money, we will show him where to cut in terms of spending cuts. What is my plan to bring affordable health care to Illinois. Many people think this is a federal problem. But I've identified specific things that we can do at the state level to reduce the cost of health care here and make it more affordable for all of us. And that's by putting the dimes of health care online. Transparency in the prices of what doctors charge us and what hospitals charge us. And transparency in terms of outcomes from, from doctors and hospitals. So if all this is online, just like it is when you shop for a vehicle, or just like when you go into the grocery store, you see the prices of what you're buying, you're able to make good decisions. You're able to find good doctors, and the competition for good doctors will reduce the price of health care, and access for health care will expand. Now is every dime online in real time a panacea for every problem that Illinois faces? And the answer to that question is no. But if we institute this, this single plan will create more reform in Illinois than any single piece of public policy has created in the last 50 years of this state. I am going to run, I'm sure you get the sense, a different campaign than what all of us are used to running. I am running on specific, robust, and clear public policy.